So you've decided to go composable because you need to replace your platform and you see the benefits of choosing best of breed suppliers. Or you need to improve your customer experience. You need to beat your competitors. You need more agility in the team. You need faster performing websites. Whatever the reason is to go composable, what's probably holding you back right now is the sheer size and scale of the project. But I'll tell you a secret. You don't need to go big bang. You don't need big, long, protracted waterfall processes that are really risky and expensive. In fact, you can go composable one step at a time. In this video, I'm going to give you some advice on how to go composable in a more iterative way. I'm gonna give you nine steps or actions that I've seen other brands and retailers do to help them go composable and being extremely successful in the process. So let's waste no more time, let's get to it. Number one, define your business transformation goals. The first step and the most important step in the journey towards composability is to define your business transformation goals. What do you want to achieve with a composable e-commerce platform and why? And these goals should be business goals, not technology goals like I'd like to have microservices. Number two, map your customer journey. Break down your customer journey into stages such as awareness, consideration, and decision stages. Map how different customer personas interact inside your customer journey. This analysis will help you understand how and where you engage with your customers and forms the foundation for the next steps. Number three, break down your customer journey into phases. The next step is to further break down your customer journey and stages into phases that make sense for your business. For example, you could have phases dedicated to things like product discovery, product buying decisions, the checkout process, and post-purchase engagements. Next, identify the touch points and interactions in those phases. Also map in the underlying systems, the business activities and business goals. Number four, start defining your components. Within each phase, start to define the smaller components or tasks that must be addressed. These components may represent specific functionality or pages within those phases. For instance, within a product discovery phase, you may have components like search and product recommendations, or also pages like product landing pages and search pages. Breaking it down this way helps you tackle specific challenges you might uncover and will also help you measure the impact of each component. If you like what you're hearing so far, please just take a few moments, go down and press on that like button so this video can be shared with many others and many others can benefit from these steps. Thank you. Number five, start to think about forming your cross-functional product squads. To drive an incremental agile process, it's vital that you form cross-functional teams or squads. These squads should include domain experts from various disciplines, such as developers, designers, marketeers, and should be run by product owners. By bringing together diverse skill sets, you'll foster collaboration and have a holistic approach to the development. This will ensure that the component is successfully delivered from a technical and a business standpoint. Number six, the proof of concept or POC. This is a critical step in the validation of the technical approach and architectural decisions for the journey towards composable commerce. POCs provide crucial insights, test feasibility, and enables informed decision-making before you commit to an actual implementation. During the POC process, you can look at many different technologies and look at their suitability and their benefits. This may involve experimenting with things like micro apps, PWAs, and JavaScript frameworks like React. Or you can explore tech vendors and their integrations, tech vendors like Ampliant CMS, Headless E-commerce, Headless Search, or even a Headless PIM. POC stage allows businesses to test and validate their technical decisions, as well as proving the fitness of purpose of each supplier. Number seven, live validation. After your proof of concepts have yielded a positive result, I recommend pinpointing a low risk component within your customer journey to test the implementation approach within a live environment. This will act as a real life testing ground, allowing you to test your assumptions, gauge performance, 
and gain some very valuable insights, as this initial implementation will lay the groundwork for your approach towards composability and will instill the confidence that you need to move forward. Number eight, prioritizing key components. Once you have a clear understanding of your customer journey and you have it mapped out and you've went through your initial proof of concepts and you've tested your implementation approach in a live environment, it's time to start the implementation process and prioritizing the key components. To do this, analyze each phase in the customer journey to determine its significance in the overall experience. Prioritize these phases and their components based on factors such as customer pain points, business goals, and their strategic importance. Number nine, iterative development. Start to allocate your product squads or teams according to the customer journey breakdown and component prioritization. The size of your organization and the complexity of your e-commerce platform will influence how this allocation is done. You may have squads dedicated to specific phases or even specific components. However, if you're a small business, you may need to cover multiple areas with fewer squads. I'd also advise to start with one or two squads first and then expand gradually. And there you have it, nine essential steps for implementing composable commerce incrementally. By defining your transformation goals, mapping your customer journey, breaking it down into phases and components, prioritizing key components, forming your cross-functional squads and teams, adopting agile methodologies, and continuously learning and improving, you're gonna be well on your way to transforming your e-commerce platform to a composable e-commerce platform. I hope you found this information useful. Take the steps and use them however you want. And if you really enjoyed this video, please don't forget to press that like button and if you want to see more like this don't forget to subscribe but for now it's time to say thank you goodbye and i'll see you next time